Welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade where I'm reviewing a game that brings up the age-old question, shaken or stirred. This is 007 Legends. It smells like Burger King in here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to call Q and let him know his laser watch doesn't work. And I've still got Burger King on my shirt. Mmm, delicious. It's 007 Legends, which contains action scenes from Goldfinger, licensed to kill, die another day, Moonraker, and on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Really? Die another day? Are you still with me, Bond? You know what would have been a lot better? Any of the other ones. That's one strong fish tank. So this game contains modernized scenes from some of the best to some of the worst Bond films of the past 50 years. I wonder if those girls know they all wore the same dress and look exactly the same. And why, why am I waiting in line for beer? I'm James Bond. I'm just going to walk around the bar and if the bartender complains, I'll shoot him. And please note, this is the same beer selection that is found in the GoldenEye remake, also from Eurocom and Activision. These are the kinds of things I notice, kids. You'd think that Kojak could afford some better booze. I absolutely love the On Her Majesty's Secret Service section of this game, except for the skiing part. That was kind of lame. In fact, all of the driving or anything that you're doing other than shooting parts of this game are pretty weak. It's, it's really inconsistent. Just like the Bond series. How does it go from the spy who loved me down to Quantum of Solace? It's that guy's fault. Just rest on the couch for a while. Ironically, the highlight of 007 Legends is Moonraker, which makes for a better video game than a movie. James Bond in space was ridiculous and cheesy in the film, but it's fun to play through. And you, you really can't go wrong with Dr. Holly Goodhead. Can I help you with something? Who was smoking hot in the movie. I'm not sure what they did with her hair here. Unlike a lot of games these days, 007 Legends leaves the best stuff for last. It's not a plot-driven game, so I'm not giving away spoilers. You're going to play through the space laser scene in Moonraker. Over. Agent Goodhead, code Red Knight. I like what they tried to do with this game. As a huge James Bond fan, it's, it's sometimes tedious to see them try to fit an entire film into one game. And by having 007 relive scenes from his past, updated, like Goldfinger has cell phones, for example, they've given themselves the flexibility to not really adhere to any of the plots and just focus on the action. Now, some of the action scenes are far better than others, and there's some irritating stealth sequences where you can't blow up everything in the room. But on the whole, I found it to be a really enjoyable game, as a fan of Bond. If, if you're not that familiar with the movies, I'm not sure if you're going to get as much out of it. Shall I call you Agent Benicio! It just, it just doesn't have the charming one-liners like he disagreed with something that ate him. If you've seen the movies, you already know them, so you'll be saying them to yourselves, and you have to wade through some of these irritating fist-fighting sequences, which are pretty silly. While the game is far from perfect, it tries something different and, for the most part, succeeds. It's a good action game. I'm recording this before Skyfall, after the movie is released, a new Skyfall level will be available for free. We've done it. That should delay the launch. And with the additional Skyfall level, I think Bond fans can hope to see more movies given this treatment. How about A View to a Kill, The Living Daylights, Octopussy, Man with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loved Me, and You Only Live Twice, some of my favorites. James Bond fans should also know that some of the actors have returned to give their likenesses and voices to characters. Drax returns. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Bond. You've managed to delay my plans, but you haven't stopped them. It seems to me as does Jaws, and Diana Riggs' likeness returns as Tracy. I'm so glad you're here. Me too, and thankfully Halle Berry and Denise Richards are not. 
Sadly, there's no Roger Moore, but we do have Daniel Craig playing James Bond. It's over. 007 Legends also gives you some challenge modes, which are nice, multiplayer, and if you're a Bond fan, I highly recommend it. If you're not a James Bond fan, watch the movies, read the books, and find out what it's all about. Disco Volante forever. 